We are at home base and it looks like based on the designs that I want that nothing is going to be really suitable as these pipes are just way way too thin um, we need a, a pipe it's much uh, leave it now we need a pipe that's much thicker than that um, actually these uh, actually these are not too bad that one's more like it that's more like it actually um, and look at the price for that £2.59, what a bargain. So now, you see, things like that would be perfect, but really, as this is adjustable along the pipe so length, but we could do with ones, you know, that bring the pipe up at an angle like that for the actual hand grips. Um, doesn't look like there is anything that will enable you to do it. Uh, they all seem to be these straight ones, although, is there any? No, you see, because these are all... Look at that. Wanting one that comes up at an angle. It doesn't look like we have any. Oh, actually, there we go. That's what we want, isn't it? That could be perfect. £1.52, we, we could have a plan here. So, based on my little list... Here. That, well, that pipe there. The £2.59 perfect well long enough so we're gonna need which one was it two of those um, what sort of size pipe does it take one and a half inch pipe I don't know how thick that is how thick is that it's 40 millimeters so that's two and a half inch. that's two and a half inches that's two and a half inch pipe so will that fit a two and a half inch pipe, even though it says one and a half? Will that fit in there? No idea, because remember we need to leave room as well for the actual controller. Well, for that, for that price, it's not really going to harm it, is it? So, that's pretty much it. Oh, we need this end one as well for the uh, shoulder mount thing there. Uh, which you could probably just get another one, or even one of these. Even one of them and just extend the pipe out for the uh, shoulder mount at the back it would be nice if I could find a way you know to adjust it so you could change the angle of it but it looks like um, what have we got in here, you got a bag of all sorts in there um, yeah well I'll, I'll get a few little bits and let's see what we can actually build so there you go, home base not that expensive and it looks like we can actually use these pipes Okay, so I've been into home base now, and what I've actually got is I got one of these, which I will probably use for the splitter pipe for the front arm. That's the first one. Uh, the second one is this one. Let's bring that up. The universal 90 degree bend, which I'll put at the end and have an extending pipe here for the uh, shoulder mount. Um, and this one will be for. How did I get this for now? Forgotten. Can't remember what I got that now for, but that's gonna be used for something. <laughs> and while I was in there, I was thinking I got this little thing as well, an equal elbow. And uh, what I'm actually thinking is, if I cut something out of the centre pipe, that would be perfect for a bipod. Do you know what I'm saying, lads? I know it's a little bit wide, but you know, you could then have uh, pipes coming out of here to the floor. I Meaning when you're doing your sniper rifle, you could physically rest it. With the pipes coming down on the floor silky smooth beautiful but anyway let's get back total cost of this was 10 pounds 21 and as i say i got most of this stuff from home base and there's the pipe hello so we've been to home base i've bought all the parts and this is mark one a plumber's nightmare 
Yes. Now, what I actually did was I tried to literally just build this by holding it up and just, you know, getting it in the right position. If I can get there a bit more view for you and getting it like this. And it does look ridiculous like this, I know. And so what I did was I booted up onwards, put the controllers in and just tried to get a feel for, you know, the right position for this. Um, I do think that this is going to need changing slightly. Uh, regarding actually putting the controllers in, as you can see there on these uh, Y sections, I've actually got a piece of Velcro, industrial Velcro, uh, which I may show you in another video. It's just some good quality stuff you get from home base, but it's not the it's not the spiky stuff. It's the soft stuff, and it's just a piece of that that goes in here. So when you put your controller in, let's get the tape out of the way. I need to take that lead off. So when you get that, it, you push it in like that. Give it a little push and that's it it's in nice and solid as you can see that will actually hold this um and that's the same for the front one although actually on this front one if I can just pull that velcro out i probably will get another one of these uh, 40 millimeter bends uh just because it fits it more snug and currently with this when you push it in it's quite difficult to take it about back out again so the only downside that i've actually come to this is the different weapons for this one, let me just put the uh, other controller in to show you. Oops. So I need to stick this Velcro in. It's not actually stuck in as yet. Let me just push that in. Come on, the viewers want to see this monstrosity. Let's just push that in. Like so. So it looks like this. Looks like this. Brilliant, eh? So the only, as I say, if you pick up, say, the M4... The stock is perfect to this length and this grip here it actually does feel i'm actually holding this as well slightly with the fingers it actually does feel like you're holding the stock of the weapon the only problem i've got well with the m4 this is perfect you can see i'm down aiming down there like that this front one probably needs adjusting like that probably with a y bend but for now it feels like you're holding it like that with a four grip it feels kind of strange but it does work and it feels quite good. The only downside is when I've tried the saw, which is one of my favorite weapons. Now the saw, the front grip, even at this sort of position, this front hand here, move back, needs to be here. It's a lot further down in VR to, to make it feel like you're actually holding that foregrip. So probably need to come up with an idea of some sort of mechanism to hold these tightly and an adjustable length this way. Maybe if it goes straight here and you can adjust it that way, maybe with a grip here somehow that you drop it in and hold it that way. Apart from that, it feels really good and I'll show you some in-game footage of what this looks like with the hands attached. The only downside to this is when you in-game and you want to take this out, that's fine. You can then go down for your smokes, whatever you want to do, but then you end up doing this fumbling around trying to find it pushing it in and then continuing so that's the only downside but until somebody actually brings out a ferial where we can do this this is going to be the nearest thing you can do and i created this for about 10 pounds which is nothing you probably get it for less actually and as i mentioned in the video i've actually got a little thing here for the bipod for the saw which we know is coming and for the sniper rifle so you built a good lay prone with this so let's jump in and i'll show you what this monstrosity looks like let's jump in Okay, so here we are. Hopefully you can see me on the camera. I won't let me use the in-game camera thing for some reason, but anyway. Right, so let's get my sock. And we're going to go for a basic rifleman up here. Load out one, and we're going to go for the M16A4, and I'm going to put the foregrip on it so that we can actually test it out. So, um, let's confirm the loadout. No messing about. Let's jump straight in, and I'll show you how it feels and what it looks like with this. Okay, so here we are. I've not actually got it at the minute. I'm gonna just show you without the actual, uh, I'm gonna call it the Poop Shoot 2000, okay? So this is normally how we would do it, like so. And I bring it up to my shoulder. There's nothing here to you know represent this, but the plus side is it does give you a lot of freedom. Um, so if we just try and aim now for something down here, you can see now what this all depends on the on the left hand and the, the plus side to this is it's super easy to be able to 
do this. He says, like an idiot. There we go. And then we're off again. So, let me just put that back down on my chest. So now I'm going to grab Poop Shoot 2000, which is over here. And I'm just going to put them in. Let's just put them in like so. That's one. Fucking get at me eyes. And that's the second one. In nice and tight. So as you can see on the webcam, Poop Shoot 2000 is ready. So, as you can see, as I hold this up in VR, those hands are now locked into position, which don't look actually bad, really. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this connected. I've got the VR nose itches. Uh, let's just bring this up to our shoulder, like so. I'm going to move it down, and I'm going to grip, and there. You can see that. That actually feels really good, although the angle of this front hand here is obviously off because it would be positioned like that rather than a foregrip that way. So again, this is something that I can possibly change. But regarding the immersion of, if I get that cable out of the way, which is kind of killing it a little bit, that actually does feel like I've got that weapon in my hands. Obviously, it restricts me turning slightly like that, but that feels quite realistic, actually. And when it comes to firing, if I bring that up, that positioning is probably, it feels right, but when you look at it, it's slightly off. The position of the weapon is about here. Where's the camera? The position of the weapon is about here in virtual reality, so it probably would need a, probably that and this raising up here in order to be one-to-one. -one. But regarding holding that when you're looking down the sight, you can't really tell the difference because my cheek is perfect for the, for the chin plate. So if I grab this now, and we actually aim for something. You can see that's absolutely steady. If I hold my breath, it should be better. So hang on a bit. Brilliant. Now, this is where the downside comes in. Let's say I wanted to put this weapon down and I wanted to throw a smoke. Well, what's the easy way to do that? If I bring this down, now I've got these. I don't know whether you can actually see the Velcro's come out, but you get the idea. Can't pick it up with this hand. So this goes back in. This needs to come out, etc. Now this is where you become stuck in order to pull the pin. This. So you could probably do with a sling for this, actually. And what we'll do in this next part is we'll have a look at the saw and see how that fits and maybe the FAMAS, maybe a couple of other weapons and I'll give you my summary on this actual video. Front one, so again we've got our, where's my camera? Again we've got our Poop Shoot 2000 like so, which as you can tell this foregrip, the hand actually looks quite alright for the foregrip actually on this one. So let's bring this up to the shoulder, get myself into position, I have to take these off, the little strings, grab it, and again, that feels quite good regarding the hand position at the front, but if I hold it up away from me, you can see the front hand is now where the M4 grip would be, so really, this needs, where's the camera? This needs to be a kind of modular system. This, I love this is the Poop Shoot, Poop Shoot 2000 version 001. So this front hand here doesn't quite touch that foregrip. Uh, and if I show you where it would be, again, shoulder position feels good. This hand feels good. Feels like it could be a little bit lower. This front arm here, just take you out, would be about there. So again, need a modular system. Um, let's just load this. Whoops. Stay up, please. Stay up! Stay up! Thank you. Okay, locked and loaded. 
that front one grabbed, I think, there. Uh, and then again, it's coming off because again, this is where the issue comes in. It's probably best for the assault weapons. Bringing it up to the shoulder feels quite good actually. Just make sure I'm grabbed on with that. Uh, and as you can see through the sight, you can hold it quite steady. Now, a lot of this movement is due to that front hand. Um, So let's just try one more. We'll try the FAMAS, I think. Look at that, it's nice, isn't it? Do you know what? Let, let's try it with um, a shotgun. See, this would be a nightmare for the sniper rifle because you constantly have to rebreach each round as you come in. Uh, yeah, let's just try that. And see what we think of this one. As you can see, those are the controllers in mid-air. Spooky. So again, Black Ops. Let me get myself into position here. I'm going to grab it. Now that, that feels really, really good. That probably f feels the best out of all of them, actually. Even at that, that sort of position. Obviously, I need to tighten up this uh, poop shoot. Um... Yeah, that actually feels really good. Um, again, need this. This is the only the, the only pain really. And this again highlights another slight issue with this. So you're going to have to actually, if you decide to do something like this, you're going to have to come from under, around the side. Uh, there's no there's no pump action for that, is there? Put that straight back in. A little bit fiddly, I will admit, but. Um, for what it is, it actually feels really good. Look at that. Didn't even realise. Where is it? There we go. Straight back in. So, very fiddly, but if you're really not bothered about your, the majority of your accessories, then this really is going to be quite a cool thing, actually. You get the idea. So that, ladies and gentlemen, has been the poop shoot. Let's put that back in. <laughs> That's been the poop shoot 2000, and a way in order for you to be able to. I actually went to grab. <laughs> I went to grab that then. I actually grabbed the shotgun in midair. Then that is a way for you to be able to create a pretty cheap rig in order to be able to feel like you've actually got a shotgun in your hands. So I hope that's been of some use to you. I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, yeah, that's the end of that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.